Hi everyone, so those of you that have been with me for a while know that I primarily channel and I was getting a very clear message right before I came on that someone needs to be careful at a, especially because it's Mercury retrograde so there's a lot of miscommunication, someone needs to not only be careful but they also need to stand their ground at a in some kind of holiday party. I know most of you are going to holiday parties, so it's kind of vague, but I'm going to get more into the, the specific details so that you know if this is for you. I feel like if you're drawn to this video, I feel like there is something in here for you. Now, for most of you, I feel like this is an uncle or an older male figure. I'm seeing an overweight man. I feel like he might have a mustache. Um, He's kind of... He almost like, I don't want to, I don't know if he uses other people as a crutch. I don't know if that's the right term, but I feel like other people defend him or they make excuses for him. Like, oh, that's just how Uncle Bob is. You know, Uncle Bob is just set in his ways. Like that kind of energy is what I get. So for a lot of you, like 80%, I do feel like this is an uncle or an older male figure. Could even be like a grandpa, but if you're drawn to this, you know, again, I feel like there's something here for you. So it could be the energy I feel is masculine, but I, I do feel like this could possibly for a small percentage of you be a woman that is just in a very masculine energy. Like she doesn't resonate with her feminine side. She is, is almost predominantly in a masculine energy most of the, most of her life, most of the time. So take it as it resonates. We're going to get into this, but there's a warning here for someone. There is definitely a warning here for someone about being bullied by an older relative and about really needing to speak your truth. Um, and I know most people are going to holiday parties. That's why I'm going to make sure I look into it so it's not, you know, one of those vague messages. I want to give you guys all the details. So... Let me see here. And I just want to say really quickly too, you don't have to go to holiday parties. Like you don't, I know it sucks being alone on Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like honestly, I cut my biological family out years ago, years and years ago, because I recognized that they were not my true soul group. Like I, I did not have past lives with them. I'm very aware of my past lives. I did not have past lives with those people. My biological family this lifetime was very karmic. There, there was no deep connection there. There was no mutual love there. Um, so, I mean, I just, I personally did not love them. Like I did not, I did, I, they, they're not my kind of people. So honestly, I cut my parents out. I cut a lot of people in my family out. They were just not my people. And I accepted that. And of course I get guilt tripped for it. You know, every Every Christmas, it's like I get guilt tripped. Oh, are you going to come see us this year? Are you going to, you know, your grandma's getting up there. She's old. Like, I, I get the guilt trips. But it's it's worth it to not be in that environment. It's worth it to not be around the wrong people. It's, it's worth it to not be around toxic people that I know are just going to drain me and, you know, gaslight me. And we're just, we're completely different. So I think some of you need to, I'm just going to put this out there really, really quick. And then we're going to look into the uncle, but I think some of you like during the holidays, you need to kind of understand that this is your life. You can't let people gaslight you and, and manipulate you into going to visit relatives that you don't genuinely want to see. It's like your soul is screaming at you. It's, it's not just, I'm not talking to someone who's just like lazy, like, oh, I love my grandparents. They're amazing people, but you know, I'm busy this year. I don't know if I want to go. In that case, you know, try to go. Try to go. If you have good grandparents or if you have good people in your life, go see them. But I'm talking to people, you know, who are in situations like I was in where it's like the pe your biological family is abusive or manipulative or they're just they're just not good people. However that how whatever that looks like for you. And and it's not like laziness or just not having time. It, it's like your soul is genuinely like calling out for you to not go. Your soul is saying, hey, this is a bad environment. Stop letting these people bully you. Stop letting these people gaslight you. You need. They know how to trigger you. They know how to manipulate you. They know how to play on your empathy to get you to do what they want. 
and you need to stand up for yourself. Some of you need to stand up for yourself and say, hey, I'd rather be alone or I'd rather be, I'd rather go to like Friendsgiving or I'd rather go to my best friend's house for Christmas or even just be by myself than be in this toxic environment where I know that I'm just going to be mentally abused. Like, don't do it, you know, especially if you've gone through a lot of childhood abuse that you've had to work through. You don't want to go back to that environment and just... It's like you move past that. You know what I mean? Like you did the inner work on yourself. So why would you want to go back to that same environment? Why would you want to go back right into that karmic energy? You know what I mean? Some of you just really need to understand this is your life. It's not their life. It doesn't matter if they're your mom or your dad. If they are toxic and they continue to be toxic, you have every right to cut them out of your life, to block them, to say enough is enough. Um, and like I said, for some of you, that's not even your soul group. You know, some of you are in the same scenario I was in where I I recognized it intuitively. I was like, I don't connect with these people. They are not my people. So for some of you, it's it's like, don't feel guilty for not feeling that loyalty towards them because it's like some part of you probably knows like that's not my actual soul mother. That's not my actual soul father or my soul grandparents. Like these people are practically when you look at the bigger picture, all your past lives, it's like those people are practically strangers to you. Like for a lot of you, you're in the same boat I was in where it's like, this was like your first lifetime with them. And you're like, where the fuck is like my actual soul mother? Like where, you know what I mean? So, so don't feel bad for cutting these people out and doing what's right for you. Protect yourself. Anyway, I'm going to get into the messages about this uncle or whoever this is. So... I'm just going to say uncle because like for like 70 or 80% of you, I do feel like it's an older uncle. But again, if you know, if I say uncle, but you know, it's your grandma who's in a very masculine energy, um, take it as it resonates, take it, whoever this is to you, if this is your story, but I'm feeling a uh, political differences for one thing. I feel like this uncle has a very, um, I feel like they have like an old fashioned mentality, but it's very toxic. Like I, I feel like this uncle is racist or homophobic or sexist. Like he feels like women should not be allowed to work or women should have to wear dresses. Like they shouldn't be allowed to like, like maybe he like goes to one of those churches where, you know, women aren't allowed to wear pants or something like that. There's, there's something really toxic that he believes in. And he is adamant about that. Like, he sticks to that. I feel like this uncle might also be very... <clears throat> oh my gosh, sorry. I feel like he's very bored with his life. And I feel like he's very lonely. So either his wife died or if he does have... Or maybe he never married. Or if he does have someone in his life, like, they're not... Like, he's not getting along well with your aunt. Like, they're maybe even considering divorce. Like, they're just not doing well. Um... I feel like this uncle, so I'm channeling, you know, as you guys know, like I'm picking up, it's not just me saying shit, like I'm, I'm channeling the energy, I'm picking up on, on this uncle, I'm picking up on his energy. Um, I feel like he's one of those like troll types, like you know those like internet trolls, like those keyboard warriors who just have to, um, they have to let everyone know what their political stance is. Like, you know, you'll have like a, a post of a kitten and they'll they'll say something about politics or the election or or um, they'll just try to argue like they'll try to pick fights online because they're so bored and they're so alone. And it's like they just want to like trigger people. You know, this this is like a leechy energy. I do not like the energy I get from this uncle or this this family member, whoever this is. Um, if they're not online, if they're not online being a troll, I feel like this is something that they do in person. And it could even be both. It could be like they're like this online and they're like this in person as well, where they try to get reactions out of people. So I get I get a very gross controlling energy from this man, but I think that he goes about it in really manipulative ways. Like I think that he's, I, I wouldn't say he's like exceptionally smart necessarily, but I, I think that he knows how to manipulate people. And make himself look innocent. Does that make sense? It's like he knows how to talk shit to people. But he'll do it in such a way where it, it's like. I just I just keep I don't know. I keep seeing his face and it's like he has like this smirk, like this smug energy. 
because I feel like he likes to trigger people in the sense that he wants, he's very controlling because I feel like you have anxiety around him. Like, I feel like even like the thought of going to see this person, like, I feel like it gives you anxiety. Like, I feel like your body tenses up. Like, you just feel uncomfortable around this man. And I could be speaking to someone who's like gay or trans or, you know, like a lesbian or something like that. And maybe this uncle is like one of those like just really like like hardcore conservative like just not like like to the like extreme end not just kind of conservative but like to like the extreme end where like they like they hate gay people or something like that like it's it's that kind of energy so there could be like a reason that you're uncomfortable around him maybe you have like a secret or something that the family doesn't know and so it's like you just have to sit there and you, you this man is being a bully and talking all this shit about gay people and they, your family doesn't know you're gay and you're just sitting there like with you know wanting to cry um and you have to just listen to it so so this holiday season you need to stand up for yourself even if it means cutting these people out i know it's lonely but if these people are just dragging you down and they're just blocking your true soul group from coming in like they're just keeping you stagnant because they make you feel so insecure or so unwanted like you need to stand up for yourself and do what's best for you and don't let them gaslight you block them if you need to keep blocking them if they make a fake number fake facebook fake fake whatever block them keep blocking them don't put yourself through that love yourself enough to not go through that anymore you you need to be around people where you can be your true self whoever I'm talking to, like, that's for someone specific. But think about how you feel around them. Think about how they make you feel. Think about like the subconscious patterns that originate from them. Think about just how you feel on a daily basis, how insecure and alone you feel, how it's like you don't feel safe being your true self. And you need to get out of this environment. You need to cut these people out. Maybe you even need to move to a new location, like a new state or something, but you need to do what's best for you. And don't feel any guilt for leaving these toxic people behind. These are not good people. You're a good person. These other people are not good people. And if you allow them to, they will keep you trapped your entire life. They will, if you're gay, they will keep you in the closet your entire life. They will keep you from ever finding somebody because you'll be so ashamed of being your true self that you'll never meet somebody. Do you really want to live like that? Or do you want true love and a family of your own and happiness and real deep connection? Like, you need to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. Like, these people are not worth it. What they're doing to you, it is not worth it. Um, again, you will be guilt-tripped and gaslit when you cut them out, but you need to cut them out anyway, and you need to be strong, and you need to keep moving forward without them, no matter how much it hurts. I'm sorry. I know that's hard. I, it, it sucks. It sucks, but you... They're blocking you. They're they're blocking actual genuine people from coming into your life because they're making you feel so bad about yourself and so ashamed to be your true self that it's it's like people aren't able to see the true you because of th these family members for someone. That's for someone out there. It's not worth it. I promise you, you will look back. If you keep these people in your life, you will look back and regret and be like, wow, like I let them. I let them block me like like you're going to be amazed. Maybe some of you have not had this is just for a couple specific people and then I'm going to get more into the uncle. But some of you have not had like a lot of life experiences. So you don't understand that this isn't how people are like you could be like 18 or 19 or something like that. And maybe you've like lived with these people your whole life. So you don't understand like you feel like it's like a fantasy to think that you could be loved or that there's a people that are genuinely good, empathetic people out there. And I'm telling you, it's not a fantasy. There's a lot of good people out there, but you need to just run away. You, you need to get out of this situation, whatever this is, you need to get out of it. You need to pack your bags and, you know, just, just get out of that energy, get out of that environment, whatever it is. There are good people out there. There are really good people out there. It's you're maybe you're not used to having them in your life, but there are good people out there. Um. Anyway, let's get back to the uncle. So I f I feel like you have anxiety around this uncle. I feel like I feel like he just makes you so uncomfortable. Like there's something that he believes, like he's like a racist or something like that. And I almost feel like he just has to have everyone agree with him. That is the energy I channel from him. Like he can't stand, like he's, he's very argumentative. So 
very closed minded, very argumentative, very old fashioned in all the wrong ways, very stuck in his ways. Um, very stubborn, like he just does not budge. And I feel like he just can't like accept someone having a different opinion than him. Like if, if someone's like, whether it's political or religious or whatever, he can't stand people like being a different religion than him or, or having a different belief than he does. He doesn't, he's so closed minded. This could be someone that grew up in a very small town too. So it's like, he really just didn't, wasn't exposed. Like maybe when he was younger, he just wasn't exposed to other religions or other ethnicities or, or whatever else. Or maybe he was, but he had like a bad experience with them. So he's like, oh, I hate all black people now, or I hate all um, white people, or I hate all, um, it, it's like, you know, whatever race he is, he like, he, there's like, he loves his own race, but he, he doesn't like, there's like another race, or maybe it's like women he doesn't like, or um, I don't know. He's just so close minded. He's just a really bad person. He definitely, it's racist or homophobic or maybe all of the above take it as it resonates, but it's just a gross energy. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, for some, I feel like he doesn't like black people. It's like really, I don't know what his deal is. It's fucked up. Um, ugh. it's just such a gross energy. Anyway, sorry, I'm tuning into him. Um, yeah, I, I feel like he's very closed off, very closed minded, very stubborn, very controlling, just very controlling. Like he really just cannot handle outside opinions. Like if someone tries to show him another perspective, he just he just goes off on them. Or he might even be one of those condescending types where he's like, oh, I've been around longer than you, so I know what's best. I know better than you do. Like, you, you know, like if you try to like say, hey, maybe stop being a racist, he'll be like, you know what? I knew, you know, I've known black people all my life, blah, 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 blah. Like I knew them in the 70s and 80s and you don't know what they do in the streets and blah, blah. like he just I don't know. He's just so gross. Um, or like if he's like like homophobic, it's like he's just he's like I was around in the what was it like the 80s when HIV was was common. He's like he's like you, he's like I know better than you because I'm older than you. He's just what he's just really nasty, just very like he cannot see other perspectives and he loves to argue. He genuinely just loves to argue. This man is like a complete bully. So you present another perspective and he's just going to he if he loses the argument, like if you're more intelligent than him and you, you know, come at him with facts like, hey, maybe you're being biased. Maybe you need to look at other perspectives. He'll he'll try to win the argument just by saying something. um He'll get pissed off too. And I feel like he'll try to win the argument just by saying something really toxic, like, like, well, I'm older than you, so I know better. And he'll just, he, he'll just feel like he has to feel like he, he's won. And so I feel like this man is a psychic vampire. He is very controlling. And I feel like other family members side with him. Like you might have vented to other family members. Like you might even say like, Hey, I don't really want to come to Thanksgiving or Christmas this year. If he's going to be there, I can't do it. And I feel your, your family members need to have your back, honestly, because for some it's like, again, you could be gay or something like that. And like, maybe your mother knows you're gay, but other family members don't. And maybe you're going to your mom and you're like, you know, like he makes me so uncomfortable. I don't want to be there. And <coughs> <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> uh. and you know she's making excuses for him and like she's saying like well his wife died or or he's very lonely he's not gonna have anywhere else to go like be like okay that's fine I'm not gonna come then and you're not gonna guilt trip me into coming you need to stand up for yourself you need to say no to going to this event honestly I, I would say or if you do say yes be prepared for some shit especially with Mercury retrograde there's gonna be arguments there's gonna be arguments this man is already an asshole, but with Mercury in retrograde right now, this man's going to be more of an asshole. He might have Gemini heavily in his chart because I feel like this man is heavily affected by Mercury retrograde. Yeah, he could be an air sign. But um, I was going to pull cards, but I don't think I really need to, honestly, because I've just been tuning into him and just channeling his energy. 
Um, and I appreciate your support. If this resonates with you, please, again, like the video, comment, even just leave a heart comment. It really helps me get these videos out in the algorithm so that because it's, it's harder these days to get in the YouTube algorithm. It's really hard to get our videos out there. So I really need all the support I can get to get these videos out to who they're meant to go to. So I really appreciate you guys. I love reading your comments. Thank you guys so much. I mean, as long as the engagement continues, I will continue to do these videos for you guys. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. Um, anyway, back to the uncle. Yeah, I just, I, I see him, like, at the dinner table, and I see this fat man. It's, like, I don't know if he's, like, spiritually, like, if it's, like, a spiritual image or if he's actually physically fat. But I just, it's, just like, this slob energy. It's just, like, one of those, um, like, he doesn't fight his own battles. I mean, he'll argue with you, but I think deep down he knows he's wrong, but he's a psychic vampire. So it's a control issue. He's taking your energy. There's something going on there spiritually and you can feel it. And that's why you have so much anxiety. That's part of why you have so much anxiety around him. That's part of why like when you're around him, it's like you just feel like your whole body is just tense. Like you just do not feel okay. Like you feel very guarded. And, you know, a lot of it too is, is you know, what's going on in the, on the conscious, you know, in the, in the 3D realm with, with him being racist or sexist or whatever he is it's like you just feel like you have to defend yourself but there's something going on spiritually that you're not aware of and it, it's this man being a psychic vampire so while you guys are arguing you're feeling more and more drained you're feeling more and more tired he's I, I get I just keep getting him like smirking but it's like an evil smirk like it's like a very smug it's just a gross energy I don't know why I'm getting child sacrificed, but this man might actually have a past life where he was so in some type of leader position and he asked for children to be sacrificed or there's something about child sacrifice for someone. And I think it's from a past life. Um, God, his energy is just so smug. But anyway, what's going on is it's like, on a higher level, he's taking your energy. So you're you're trying so hard to get him to see your perspective or get him to not be racist or not be sexist or get him to have empathy, and it's never going to happen. This man is just a bad person. He's never it, – it, I don't think it's even – I don't, it, it, he would find something else to argue about. Like, even if you manage somehow miraculously to change his perspective, he would find another toxic viewpoint to argue about. He is just a toxic, negative person. There's, there's, that's who he is. Um, I think it's hard for you to understand because you're not like that. So you don't get his mentality. And I feel like your family members try to make excuses for him. Like, well, he's lonely or he's this or that. But no, I, I think it's more than that. That might have triggered it to make it worse. But I think he was always like this. I think he was always kind of a closed-minded asshole. Um, but yeah, you need to be aware. Like when you guys are arguing in the physical, like what he's doing is draining your soul. He is he is a psychic vampire. He is draining your energy. It's, it's almost like he's like on autopilot where he's having this argument, but his spirit is up here, like focusing like some kind of psychic vampire, like focusing on taking all of your energy, all of your youth, all of your good energy, your empathy. Like the, he's this man is just like draining that energy. He's feeding off it. That could be why I saw him being fat, even if he's not physically fat. Because he's one of those slobs that just takes and takes and takes and gives nothing in return. And I feel like he has another family member. Maybe it's like your mom, like his sister or someone else in the family that just like makes excuses for him. And he's using her too. He's fucking her up too. Like he's probably draining her as well. He knows it's like in chess, it's like the little pawns in the front, you know what I mean? Like these family members are like his little pawns where he knows that he can manipulate them into feeling sorry for him and making excuses for him. Because I see him at the dinner table, like saying upsetting, just horrible things, arguing. 
And I, I just see this, like another family member of yours, like making excuses for him, like, oh, he's always been that way, or he's going through a lot. Just that's, that's just how old Uncle Bob is. Don't pay any attention. And it's like, no, if you're gay, you don't want, it's not okay for your family members to make excuses for homophobic people. They should have your back or whatever it is that's going on. Like, you know, like they should have your back. They shouldn't, it's, it's not okay. Like if your son or daughter is gay or lesbian, like you don't hang out with homophobic people. That's, that's fucked up. It's not okay. Like you need to have, they need to have your back. And if they don't have your back, if they're, if they're going to stick by this, this toxic person's side, maybe you just need to be like, fuck all of you. You know what I mean? You need to do what's best for you. But I think you really need to put your foot down is what I'm feeling. You really need to put your foot down because someone, it's like you're getting guilt tripped into going to this holiday and you don't want to go. You know it's going to be arguments. Mercury's in retrograde. You know it's going to be bad. You know you're going to feel drained and exhausted and alone afterwards. You need to be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own thing this holiday. I'm staying home I'm, or I'm going somewhere else. And you need to stick to it. And it doesn't matter if they say, oh, this, this man is, you know, he might die in a couple of years because he's sick or just be like, no, I'm not going to be in that environment. I don't give a shit what you say. I'm standing up for myself. You keep pushing it. I'm going to block you. Like you need to stand up for yourself. Again, I just feel like someone's going to waste their whole life in this environment around these toxic people. If, if you don't, you have to make these changes yourself. These good people that you're wanting to manifest that you think are just in books and movies, they're, they're real. They are out there, but they cannot see you. They can't find you if you have all this toxicity around you. It's almost like your family is like this dark cloud that like blocks good people from seeing you and recognizing you because you're, you're so insecure and sad because of these family members. And it's like their energy is just so entangled in you that, that it's like people don't see you. So do you really want to spend your life alone because of these people? It's like, no, I think you need to cut the cords. You need to actually do like a cut and clear ritual. Maybe go to like a real shaman. Don't get ripped off. There's a lot of fake ones out there. You got to find a real one. Don't get ripped off by someone saying, oh, you got a curse on you and I need 500 to remove it. No, that's a scam. Um, go to someone legit that you know for sure is legit. And, and yeah, cut the cords and move on with your life. And even if you're in the period of this period of limbo where you are alone for a little bit, you're going to start meeting good people. You're going to start going out and you're going to be amazed at what life has to offer. And this could even be needing to go to another city or another state. Maybe your, your, your hometown is very toxic. You're going to be amazed at like the mentality, the perspective that other people have, you know, like go to... I don't know, like I'm in California, I'm in Sacramento and it's like out here, people are open, you know, like there, like there's, there's different political beliefs, but it, it's like people, you can be gay and be like be lesbian in public out here and, and everyone like it's supported, you know what I mean? And like in most places in California, it's supported. So some of you need to go someplace like California or just someplace that's more open-minded, like wherever you're at, let them stay there if that's their place, you know, everyone let people be where they want to be, but it's not for you. There's like a town or a house or an environment or all the above that's just not for you. And it's going to keep you stuck and it's going to make you have a miserable life. And you're going to be on your deathbed, honestly, at like 60 and be like, fuck, I should have gone out and like done what was best for me. Like, I'm just saying, I know it's harsh, but you're going to, if you keep letting these family members control you and guilt trip you and manipulate you and keep you stuck and stagnant, you are going to regret it for the rest of your life. Like there's love, there's soulmates, there's really good, kind, genuine people that want to come into your life, but they will not recognize you. They will not feel your energy. They will not be able to get in if you're in this environment or around these people. It's just, it's, it's too, they're, they're possibly being protected from that toxicity. Like their, their, their energy is like high vibrational. So they don't, this environment you're in, they don't resonate with it. They're above it. You know what I mean? So you, you have to be the one to get yourself out of this. And it's going to be really hard, but it's going to be so worth it. You might be in pain for a few months. You might be depressed for a few months, but it's, it's going to, your life is going to change drastically. Like you're going to be so happy when you get away from these people. When you have like these new people coming in, you're going to be like, oh my God, like it wasn't just a fantasy. And you could have family members that are trying to guilt trip you and, and gaslight you into thinking it's a fantasy. Like, oh, no one's really that good or no one's kind. Like everyone fucks everyone over. It's it's them. It's not how the world. I mean, yes, there's there's bad people out there. There's a lot of bad people out there, but there's also a lot of good people. 
So get away from these toxic family members. Honestly, just get away from this energy. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I, I feel like this, this uncle, I feel like he triggers you. I, I feel like he triggers you and, um, it's like he has to be right, but he knows he's triggering you. It's like he knows, like he wants to trigger people because he's a psychic vampire. He has to be right. It's like he's going to drain all your energy. He does this to other people as well. Like this man is, is gross. This is not a good person. Um, this is really not a good person. Yeah, he's just... Because I keep going back to, like, seeing someone, like, stand, like, defend him. And I just almost see him, it's like one of that, like, that energy, like, when you're out of the room, it's like he's, like, smirking at the dinner table. Like, see, she's... Because it's like he'll have this toxic view, but he's... It's almost like he has, like, this, this self-satisfaction because he knows that he's manipulated other family members as well into standing up for him, into, into just being like, oh, Uncle Joe's just a racist, just deal with it, it's fine, it's only, only twice a year you gotta see him, it's like, no, 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 a racist is a racist, a homophobe is a homophobe, fuck those people, fuck those people, uh-uh, you, you need, I just cannot stress it enough, you need to get away from these people, um, especially from the uncle, but I almost feel like other people have, like, a similar, because people that aren't, um, how do I explain this? Like, so I feel like your uncle is like very racist or very homophobic, but I almost kind of question if maybe like these other family members are similar to him where they understand his perspective a little bit because they shouldn't be making excuses for him because someone who's not a racist, someone who's like genuinely not racist will be disgusted by racism. Someone who's not homophobic will be disgusted by homophobes. Like, they won't, because it's just weird to me that this other family member is like, oh, Uncle Joe is just racist, it's all right, or he's just, he just doesn't like gay people, it's okay, whatever, he's old-fashioned, because it, it's almost like they have a little bit of that in them, too, like a little, it might not be as much as him, but they have a little racism or a little homophobia in themselves, too, because it's just, it's someone who's not like that will not ever be okay with that, you know what I mean? They'll be like, no, this energy is disgusting, I'm not gonna be around this, like, like they won't, they wouldn't invite him to family dinner anymore. If they were not a little bit racist themselves or a little bit whatever his, his toxic belief is, I don't feel like they would even invite him to dinner anymore. Like I, I feel like there's some part of them that's like, they don't get it. Like they don't get it. They just see it as like you and him are on, on like different generations, but it, it's like, it's, it's not okay. It's like they're making excuses for him, but it's not okay. Anyway, I feel like some of you just, you need to get out. You need to move you need to change locations. You need to do what you need to do. Like, you need to just get out. Um, if you're not 18 yet, like, uh, save up money and move out when you turn 18. Honestly, I did it. I did it too. Like, sometimes you got to do it. Because I'm feeling like, I keep hearing like 17. So someone, and I don't usually channel younger people, but I do feel like someone on here is like 17 years old. So it's like, you're almost free, but it's just like, just survive. And just when you, when you turn 18, have that money saved. Hide it from people. Hide it somewhere no one can find it. You got to be careful with it, but just get out of there. Just do what you need to do to get out of there. Go to a shelter even. Just just when you're 18 or older, just just leave. Um, yeah, some of you I want to say just really quick too. Some of you are, so I'm, I'm what's called a bloodhound. Or other psychics have told me that I'm a bloodhound. And a bloodhound is basically someone who's, they're all about truth. They're all about honesty, loyalty, integrity. So a bloodhound is like someone who like sniffs out, like the, they can separate the truth, the truth from the lies. So they're meant to, like people like me, and I, I have this happen where it's like, I'll be in an Uber and I'll be met, like my spirit guides will, will pretty much push me to tell someone something that's super uncomfortable. But like, you know, they'll let me know like, hey, no one else was willing to tell me that or like, hey, that helped me a lot. Um, and like, we can like spot liars. Like we're good at spotting fake people, liars. Like we call people out. We don't give a shit. Like we're blunt, we're honest, we're assertive. Like, and I feel like someone on here, maybe not all of you, but some of you are, are actually bloodhounds too. Like you're actually meant to live by truth. So you're being challenged right now to stand up for yourself. And that could just mean simply blocking these people, but be safe because I do feel like these people are very toxic. So, so keep yourself safe, but 
like don't get into like a physical altercation or anything like that but um you know, but you, so you need, maybe you need to speak your truth. Maybe you straight up just need to be, maybe you need to let these family members know that you're not the one to fuck with anymore because they are bullying you. You're being bullied. You're being gaslit. You're being manipulated, manipulated. I, f I feel like this man, like, again, I feel like he likes to trigger people, but it's like, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to like gaslight people in arguments to stress them out and take more of their energy, you know? psychic vampire energy you need to be more mindful of this if you need to just write a letter just write a letter and be like you know what if you're siding with this toxic family member that's not okay with my religion or my lifestyle or my orientation or whatever else um and it could be something else like you could be like a witch and they don't like witches or so whatever it is it's gonna be different for everybody but you know what it is if this is your energy group if you don't if you cannot be there in person it's okay you can stand up for yourself through a letter or uh, whatever it is, and you can just, you have to stick, you know, stand your ground now. No matter what they say, they will try to guilt trip you so bad. Your mom might call you crying, be like, okay, that's great. But you know what? If you had my back, you would not have even been okay with this family member being here, knowing that they don't support me, knowing they don't like me, knowing they don't like who I am as a person. You would not have invited this family member if you really had my back, if you really were loyal to me. Like, you need to stand your ground. You need to write this letter and just be like, you know, I'm done. Like, just, just whatever. You know what to say. It's going to be different for all of you, but you need to don't leave so these people are so manipulative and toxic that I feel like if if you show signs of insecurity or openness like well maybe maybe in the future it'll change or maybe maybe I hope that it, you know don't be too nice you need to be a bitch whoever you are you need to be a bitch that's that's the only language these toxic people are gonna get you're, you're gonna have to because they're gonna try to find that wiggle wiggle room they're gonna try to find that opening because they're gonna see you trying to set boundaries and they're gonna try to break those boundaries they're gonna try to cross those boundaries they're gonna try to find that little space where they can where you said maybe or I don't know where you showed uncertainty or you showed insecurity they're gonna try to manipulate it to get back in to guilt trip you to to break those boundaries and you you need to have very strong very firm very consistent boundaries and and, you know, when you write this letter or whatever and you need to just stick to it, like, I'm not I'm not coming home. I don't care if, you know, Uncle Bob is, is you know, close to old age and going to die in a couple years. I don't care. I'm not going to see him. I don't want to see him. He's not my kind of person. That's that. There is no don't leave it there. Like, there's no room for negotiation. It's it's not like don't don't word it in a way where it's open to negotiation or where you can have your mind changed. Be like, I am 100 percent certain I am not coming. I am not going. I am not doing this anymore. I'm 100% certain I'm done. You need to stick to it. And I promise you again, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, like you might not recognize that there's good people out there because you've been in this environment for so long. And I feel like they've almost like gaslit you into like, because they don't, they don't, they want to keep you. They want to, they want to drain your energy. So they, they probably have even gaslit you into being like, I don't know, just into thinking that there's not people like you out there. They, they've manipulated you into thinking that like that their way of life is the norm and everyone else is crazy or delusional or, or people just aren't good people. It's bullshit. In your small town, it could be that way. You could be in a very like one of those like, you know, Texas country hick towns where everyone's just everyone just talks shit about everyone else all day and they all just fuck each other over like but that's not how the world is it's how your town is it's how your city is maybe even your entire state it is not how the world is there is more out there for you but you're gonna have to be brave set strong boundaries be firm on them no matter what no matter what they say no matter what they do you're gonna stay firm on those boundaries and you're gonna get out of that environment and and go somewhere else and again, you might be sad for a little bit, but you're going to start meeting good people as you start healing from this and you start going out and you, you're going to be amazed at what life has to offer you. You're going to be amazed at how different people are in other areas or other environments. Like you're going to be really pleasantly surprised. It's a process. I'm hearing The Middle by Jimmy Eat World, um, that song. I could resonate here for someone, but yeah, you need to get yourself out of this. You need to get yourself out of this. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps somebody. And I, again, I really appreciate your support. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really helps me get back in the algorithm. So thank you guys so much for being here. Have a good day, everybody.